Hello and welcome to Tykes TV. Neil is here. Today I've got Dave and Andy. Dave and Andy, it's hey. great to have you on. All right, Hiya. thanks for having us on. No worries. It's uh, been a while. Uh, again, it's not much football played. Uh, I think we'll come to that, Dave. The Oxford game, it got postponed. Um, could it have been called any early? Could it have been called like Friday tea time ish? Because it, it were looking dodgy all week, wasn't it, with uh, sub zero temperatures? Yeah, it's been consistently cold, isn't it? and um, not much chance the, of the pitch being thawed out. And mm. you know, they've—I think the the club have got to, you know, Oxford not bouncing. I've got to be at, at fault for this. You know, they've, they've been playing on that pitch for you know for a number of years, and they know what the temperatures get like. They can, they should be able to tell when the match isn't going to be able to go ahead. You can't leave it until the last minute. You know, fans have set off, and um, you know, I think I was very poor on their side on their side of things. Yeah. I think only blessing, one blessing in disguise, Andy, was, you know, being able to get back and watch England game. Because, uh, you know, we'd been a 3 pm kickoff. Bless you know, it was a bit, bit of debate about going off. And people might have thought, well, you know, if we can get on about World Cup, but we're not going to make it about World Cup. But like just what Dave was saying there, Andy, fans, you know, journey down there and then mm. to get it called off at half nine in the morning, you know, it, it, it's a bit of a. Bit of sweet pull because we know it's going to be a midweek game now, don't we? Yeah, it's uh, it, it was poor, wasn't it? Calling it off at that time, and like Dave just said, it's um, you, you know, they knew what weather was going to be, um, be like, and I, I just don't. Well, I, I know there is chance for a game to be called off, um, this Saturday, but but I think we've got under. Soil eating anyway, aren't we? So uh, I think we'll be all right. But but yeah, it was poor. I, I know a lot of fans were already down or halfway down anyway. Yeah. Um, but that, again, it just shows, you know, it. What do they think of fans? You know, I, I know they can't play if pitches like full of snow and whatnot. Well, they don't do nowadays, but they used to. But. Uh, it, it just shows what they think at fans now, isn't it? You know, fans seem to be second or even third or fourth uh, priority down the list. Um, I, I'm glad um, me and Maddie didn't go now because, you know, um, we'd have liked to have gone, but it, it would, what they were charging for tickets as well, it, it was just uh, a bit extortionate. And, yeah, um, midweek match now, it, it's now it's not good. Mm. They could have called it off early, like Dave said. Yeah, probably put, could have been like Friday uh, tea time or Friday evening. Yeah. At least it'd get you know, yeah. fans, the fans a, a chance to, you know, have a bit of a lie in bed and not make a, a long journey of here and you know, yeah. and kind of scuff a day. I mean, not uh, taking any gloss off it for day, but uh, Michael Duff, uh, manager at Mumford, rightly deserved on what it what is it achieved and achieving at minute with his backroom staff. Yeah, he's um, you know, we had that bad spell, and then we've um, we've turned it right around, and we've had a, a really good spell. We've had some, we've had some good results, some good games, some decent performances, and he rightly so. He won the manager of the month, and you know that Oxford game could this guy always be in calls after you get the normally mess up the next game, and, but that was postponed. So hopefully, move on to the, to the game now, and that's gonna. Yeah, it's good for him to get the recognition he, he, he deserves, and um, you know, congratulations to him. It's fantastic, moment, especially you know, so early on in his Barnsley career. Yeah, I mean, what what was pleasing for me and what I liked as well is that when the official press uh, got done on pitch, Andy is that mm. he was here with trophy, but he had rested his backroom team behind him via as well, and it was like a team effort. Yeah. That, that for me, spot volumes uh, the man himself in Duff, is it? It's not just me, but it's the it's a, like the yeah. collective behind it, behind the scenes. What people don't really see, you know, your goalkeeping coach, Vicky Stevens, everybody like that. So for me, but that were a great unity here, Andy. What I saw. Yeah, I I agree. I noticed that as well, and I think he said that in his um, statement as well when he got it. You know, it's a like a team effort sort of thing, and. Yeah, um, I mean, I, I think that assistant that he's got, what, what's his name now? Um, Patterson. Go on. 
Yeah, Again, that's him, yeah. Um, yeah, I like him as well. Um, his assistant, uh, he uh, seems like he doesn't take no, no, uh, like no crap from players. Um, you know, I've seen him when I've been going to watch uh, under-23s. And, uh, yeah, he, he doesn't take... Uh, but yeah, they've got a really good setup. The um... I mean, what we're coming on to now, Dave, it's going to be you know going to be a test for us against Burton. We, you know, obviously an extra coming up against us. Adebayo, we all know about him what he's doing at minute, but we've just got to concentrate on what we're doing. I think Duff will as well, and how to address that game, Dave. Uh, I see that Tom Edwards might pick up a he might have picked up a slight niggling injury, but apart from that, you'd, you'd think we'd be going into it with a bit of confidence in that, wouldn't you? Yeah, like you say, it's uh, it's unfortunate that he's out. Um, you know, he's he's fitted into the team well. He's had some good, strong performances. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's never good to upset a, a winning team, and um, but sometimes it's forced on you. And you know, we've got to make, make do with um, what do I say make do. We've got to. Got to change things around and bring other players in. Mm-hmm. Uh, upset the balance a little bit, but you know I'm sure Def knows what he's he's, he's going to do on Saturday. Uh, what, what players he's going to bring in, what formation he's going to play. Uh, it's just um, a bit of a choker that Benson is still injured as well because he seems mm-hmm. to fit that right wing back spot really nice. Yeah. But um, yeah. you know we've got uh, we've got Jordan Williams that can play there. Um, yeah, Rachison's picked up some sort of bug or sickness as well, so he's. He's mm. a big doubt for Saturday, or ruled out altogether. But I, th- I think it's going to be a pr- approach like every other game. You know, Michael Duff will stick to his his tactics. Um, I don't think he'll be bothered about the opposition. I don't think he'll be bothered about Adebayo and the sort of form he's in. He'll just be concentrating on what we can do on the pitch and you know the result that we need to get for ourselves. You know, it's it's down to us mm. at the end of the day, and um, it's a winnable game. Yeah, I mean, just going from what De- uh, Dave's saying there, Andy, a winnable game, and we've got we've got to more or less concentrate on our game and not get sucked into our bear playing and not being disrespectful, but concentrate too much on the I mean, he moved on to passes new at the same time as Rommel Palmer for both our contract. Debate on whether you know we should have done more to keep him at club, but I mean, if you what I knew at the time is that the offer of a contract. They extended it for a period of weeks, trying to make his mind up, and he's still well linked with other clubs. I think at one point Portsmouth and stuff like that. So yeah. he wants to move to pass his new, and yeah, and, and, you know he's doing well at Burton at the minute. Arguably, would he have done all right at Barnes in League One? Who knows? Probably would have done. But we move on, and we've got to, just got to concentrate on his own game. And don't we go into this? Yeah, definitely. And um, you know, I totally agree with. Uh, points that you both brought up there. Um, there's also a winner, isn't there? Um, but some winner will play for him as well. Yeah, I think we picked him up on a like, money free agent. <laughs> I'm sure. Show that, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, I'm sure uh, Win will play uh, for him as well. So be interested if he's in, uh, if he's in, God, what reception he'll get. Um, but yeah, um, I'd have been, I think it was. Just breaking up there. Says that he's been knocking goals in for a struggling side at Burton and he might have done a job for us, but no, nah, I think it what right I think it what right call uh, for Adebayo to to go on to pastures nil. Um but yeah, definitely a winnable game. Uh, all due respect to Burton and um other twenty just lost Dan Devere. So Dave, yeah, I mean I think Burton are more or less down at the other end of the table and we are fourth. Obviously, going into you know Christmas Christmas period, we've got this and like away at Accrington and all that. You know, game's going to be coming thick and fast. So, with things like that, you'd like to think we'd be going into Christmas period and you know, we uh, we a bit of momentum, a bit of belief in a sense, wouldn't you? And carry, try and carry it on. Yeah, momentum's the word. You know, it's um, it's always good to have that momentum. We built up a good, a good, you know, head of steam. We've got that behind us, and um, you know, we just need to carry on doing what we're doing. And there's no easy games in this league, as we've seen. You know, there was some of the some of the results you expect to get, you don't get. 
Um, some of the ones you think are tough, uh, you know, we're picking up good points away from home at Sheffield Wednesday, Peterborough. You know, we're more than happy with things like that. They're, they're fantastic results. Then you've got to scrap it out against teams that are lower down. We've seen that with Fleetwood and Morecambe. Hmm. You know, we can't take anything for granted at all. And like you say, thick and fast. And this is where the squad's going to be important because there's going to be tired legs. Yeah. There's going to be sickness over Christmases. There always is a bit of cold, a bit of flu. You know, we've got a few injuries. You know, it's it's if we can avoid it, losing any more players over the over the next four or five weeks. I think it's going to be important. And then, you know, heading into the new year, hopefully we've still got that momentum and we can just push forward. Where we are at the moment in the league is fantastic. Yeah. I would have been happy with around about 10th or 11th at this point. I never thought we'd be up, you know, in the, in the promotion playoff places. But, you know, it just shows what Duff's done for the team and what a credit is. Absolutely fantastic. And, yeah, it's going to be an important Christmas period. And, hopefully positive and um, keep it going to the new year. Yeah, I mean, just going from that, Andy, uh, we, we just lost your ear for a minute, so uh, yeah. let's see what it's like now. But we've just been on about saying that keep keeping the momentum going, taking it into yeah. new year, Christmas period. Obviously, Oxford game war, you know, I called off. So we've got, you know, we've got Portsmouth coming up, we've got Oxford, we've got, um, uh, you know, other games coming up. It's going to be week and midweek and then, Boxing Day fixture clash. So again, it's it's a matter of trying to keep the run going. Although you've still got the odd injury here and there, try and keep that momentum going. It's still still kind of that belief. Get us into January, then we can reassess and possibly look at transfer mm. market, mate. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping that uh, you know that's what we're going to do because uh, I've always said and I still believe that we you know we have a couple of show, uh, players short in. Uh, in depth at squad, um, especially up front, like I think, like we all Here, know. Here's one player, Andy. Just on about yeah. on about shorting areas. Yeah. Do you think we'll we'll keep us players? Do you think would you would you think that some of those players would possibly go? I wouldn't be surprised if they do. Um, mm. I, I know that the set price is going to be right, but mm. um, I, I think if offers come in for him, I do think. Uh, some will go, and I'll be honest. I'm expecting a few uh, going. There will be clubs All right. uh, looking All right. at uh, looking at, at at our players anyway, mm. um, especially like Anderson. Um, I mean, I personally think he's too good for League One, if I'm honest. Mm. Um, but if we can keep him, um, then yeah, that would be a great testament to the club. But it's if we can. Uh, try and get into that habit of trying to refuse for stuff. Uh, um, I, I know they've got like money to make back and whatnot, but you know um, where we are at league, we, we don't want to be keep going uh, like stepping backwards into uh, squad uh, situation again, where we're trying to rebuild and just uh, patch it up and just see what happens. Um, we, we need to try and keep all those best players. But yeah, I, I don't think um, some players will believe in yet. Oh, yeah. um, especially fringe players as well I think mm. um, I think like players like Jasper Moon I think he'll go uh, if I'm honest but mm. like I say I think um, Art on loan or permanent? Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes out on loan I, I don't know I've just got a feeling but uh, I've just got a feeling as well that does not rate him as well Um mm. But I think that's what he needs anyway. He's needed that for ages. But yeah, I think some important players will generate interest from other clubs. And I wouldn't be surprised if a few uh, does go. But we've got trolled out and it's how you replace them as well. Mm. Um, I've always said players and managers come and go. It's it's how you replace them. Mm. Um, but yeah, uh, sorry, that's my cat. You'll, you'll, you'll <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Dave, I mean, just going following on there from Andy, I mean, obviously, you know, Duff's got the, the team and, uh, you know, certain players, what were playing last season, you can see that difference in them. You can see an improved under Duff from his way of thinking, uh, I just wanted players to play in, in the sense, express the sense. And I know that Anderson's going to be out of contract to end of the season. But have you got concern of that? Would you like to see a good intention by a club to say, look, we'll sit down now and get Anderson tied down to a deal? Or have you got concerns like, well, Andy, probably a few other fans as well, thinking, yeah, they're playing well, they're going to get noted by some uh, championship clubs. You know, we might come in and make a cheeky bid. 
Have you, do you have same concerns over that? Yeah, I've um, I've had concerns over a few players, and um, don't really want to name names in case anyone needs to yeah, yeah. these videos. Yeah. But um, yeah, Anderson's a you know he's one of the standout men of the season so far. He's a you know he's a fantastic defender, mm. and like Andy says, he's too good for League One. Um, you know he's been solid week in week out for us. Um, if I'm completely honest, I think I'm surprised that uh, Brad Collins is still at the club. Because hmm. he's far too good for League One as well. He's hmm. he has the odd blunder in him, but you know what good goalkeeper doesn't. You know, I think if you expected him to be fair in summer to be one at place to be to have been uh, sold hmm. as well, didn't we really? Well, yeah, he's um you know he's he's been solid, you know, hmm. for the last couple of seasons. I mean, first season when he was fighting for you know the first place jersey with Walton, you know, when he started off playing the sweeper keeper role, he scared the bejesus out of me. Yeah, you know, and every time he rushed out, so it was just like, oh my god, I can't be doing this. <laughs> and I said on more than one occasion in these videos <laughs> that you know, he, oh I, no, I just can't be having this. But yeah. once you see him do it week in week out for a long period of time, you realise how comfortable he is doing that. Mm -hmm. and you put your complete trust in him. Yeah, he's going to mess it up now and again, but you know that's the chance you get for doing that. Mm -hmm. You know, he's obviously saving more by doing that than what he's conceding. And um, some of his saves have been fantastic. You know, he's he's been consistent in goal. Hmm. Which is why Walton can't get back in, and I just, I just, I'm just waiting for someone to come in for him. If I'm honest, hmm. Anderson as well. Um, the rest of the team, they've all played well together, but you know, apart from Thomas, start of the season, there's been no one consistently playing outstanding that I think could do well by leaving the club in January, hmm. and being, and being thrust into something. I think there seems to be a good team spirit. On the pitch, hopefully off the pitch as well. It's shown mm. in the way we're playing, you know, and hopefully the, the, the fact that the players want to play for the club, you know, mm. it looks to us like they're they're happy doing what they're doing, much more than last season. The performances have improved, like you've said. Mm. I think that's down to what Duff's brought in and the, the spirit that's in the in the dressing room now. I'd like to think, and I'm hoping players don't want to leave. I'm hoping they want to stay yeah. and you know, get us back into the championship next season. Yeah, I think that would be a good good intent as well, not just by board. Getting down with players, and like we just touched on there, a, a good point as well is that the players actually want to play and stop at bounds and say, Look, we're on, we're on a, a roller coaster here and we're going up at this rate. Look where we are. It's a lot better. I think if we'd have been probably mid table or just below it, I think it might have been some, some of the players would probably think, mm, You know what, time to go. But I think now where we are position, plus it, it might be right, might be wrong on this, but. I think if we want to try and recruit players, it's a lot easier proposition for a player to come to Barnes and say, yeah, do you know what, you're fourth, you're on veg, you know, you're looking, knocking on the World Championship. So, again, it's down to us to sell it. So, coming back to you, Andy, I mean, going into Oxford game, I, I, apart from any injuries, you'd want to keep the same side. What do you think your score's going to be? You know, at home, it'd be nice to go into Christmas, you know, with a, a, home, a home win, wouldn't it? And it and he's gone radio silent. Dave, <laughs> um, I'm going to go for three one. You know, we got we got goals all over the team at the moment. You know, they come in. You know, from all, all sorts of areas: yeah. defence, uh, midfield, strikers, wingers. Uh, so I'm going to go for three goals for us. And you know, you just know that one of the ex boys is going to score against us. <laughs> you know, and Adebayo is in great form. So. You know, he's going to want to put one over on us. It happens every time we play against one of the old boys. They always they always do it to us. So, I'm going to go for a 3-1 home win. 3-1 home win by Dave. Andy, what are you going for? Um, I'm going to go for 3-0, I think. 3-0? Okay. Yeah. Any particular reason? Any any goal scorers? What's going to stand out for you? Who's going to be an important player for you come Saturday? Um, I don't know if it's Difficult one. Uh, I'm hoping one of um, front men uh, knocks a goal in. Um, you know, just to keep the confidence up there. Um, I, I know it's good seeing goals coming from different parts of the team, but uh, we just need strikers with confidence and hope uh, some of our strikers not a few in. So um, I think probably Cole will not. Yeah, Cole uh, two goals and. 
I don't know. Um, Aitchinson's a bit of a doubt, isn't he? So I'll go for Norwood for the other one. Norwood for other. I'm going to go 3-1. I, I, like I said, I think there's goals in this, like what you both said. I think yeah. there's goals being chipped in from all over the place. I think confidence is up with midfielder. Uh, if Williams is going for it, Luke Connell, Herbie Kane, you know, you've got options there. Plus off the bench as well. I'd like to see Devante Coles chipping with another goal. Just keep, you know, because his work rate deserves it. Off football, where he's been playing in. And yeah. I get where you're coming from as well, Dave, is that, you know, an ex-player up against us. We always want to get one over on us. So you kind of expect it. So much going to happen in game. But I'm going to go uh, a 3-1 Barnsley win. And it's a win. That's all I'm bothered about. Whether it's a clean sheet or not. Ideal a clean sheet, but three points. All being well, results around us go our way as well, like we did at weekend, even though we didn't play. We sent a big win our way. So that's all we can do. So we're all in agreement. Uh, we're all going for an own win. We're all going for three goals. All to balance it up as well, not the other way around. But uh, yeah, Dave and Andy, it's been a pleasure having you on. Thanks yes. for having us. Uh, if you're watching, please like, subscribe and share. Let us know your thoughts and comments and score predictions below. Um, and if you're going to the game, wrap up warm, because it's going to be a chilly one. Uh, even though I've got under soil eating, I've got under uh, under heat <laughs> seating at the minute, have they? So, uh, but yeah, safe journey if you're going. Uh, one thing left to say, you Reds.